Well, oh, hi and welcome back to my channel. Yes, this is a obviously real to real tape recorder, Elizabethan Popular Two Hundred. Uh, it's just two, it's just two track, half track. So you play one side of the tape, and when it's all spooled through, turn it over, put it back on the this side, and run it back through, and you get another track. So you just got the two tracks. It's just mono. They did make a stereo version, which was called a Popular Four Hundred. Um, this one is actually working. Um, it's very very noisy with the any of these switches and controls are very noisy so they need the cleaning up and we just turn it on here that switch is just on off it's not combined with volume there's basically a tone control it's got a treble at the top and bass at the bottom so it's just one control and uh, there's the volume there which is to say it's very noisy there's this strange one marked trick trick here which um, sorry it's making noises over the video <laughs> that's how bad the switches are um trick enables you to uh, record over what you've already recorded so you could sing with yourself or something if you switch that to trick but as i say it's all very noisy and press it into play so that's definitely working this this does light up this is the, the level indicator when you're recording but after it's been on for a while that dims and fades out so that's probably capacitor issues we've got a tape counter there as well and it has got uh, a little microphone and a lead there to connect it to an amplifier um, i'm going to turn it off before i do anything else simply because of the state of the caps and everything I don't want to damage it now thanks to Radio Museum I have got uh, a schematic there with component values uh, which is a, a very useful start and uh, there's two pages of data there's uh, more information about it there and uh, where the components are to be found, which is always useful. It's quite a basic, simple thing. It's got three valves in it. Um, well, there's two triodes in, in this first valve, and there's a triode and a pentode in this second valve. Um, that takes care of the main circuit. And then here is this uh, level indicator. And unfortunately, um, as I don't like them, it's this selenium rectifier here. I did a spot another diode somewhere as well, which is bound to be another selenium. Not fond of selenium, and I, if you replace these rectifiers, you need to put a resistor in series in this line um, to reduce the voltage a bit more because the uh, silicon diodes don't drop as much voltage as the seleniums do. Um, so I will be measuring the voltage here at the anode of the output valve and then adjust the resistor I just put in there um, if I put silicon diodes in so that I can get the correct uh, voltage which is conveniently given on this data sheet. So uh, it should be 250 volts at this uh, point here on this anode so I can certainly uh, make sure I get in the right high tension. The nice thing about this is that the uh, valve heaters are in parallel run from here from the transformer so it's not one of those series wired efforts um, that's quite a nice thing as I say it already works quite well so really it's a matter of uh, recapping and then uh, mainly it's going to be mechanical stuff trying to clean and oil it and get that fast forward working and um, also of course those very noisy pots and switches um, which is going to be i'm going to have to buy some deoxy i'll take out a mortgage and get some deoxy i think 
um, because <laughs> at the moment all I do is clean them with uh, isopropyl and something like that and um, I really should have some uh, some decent stuff for that but uh, we've also got of course these connections here microphone plugs in there you can plug this is a line input basically a smart radio monitor which you can feed out to an amplifier and a loudspeaker essentially loudspeaker so it uh, gives you those connections uh, it'd be quite a bit of fun to get it to work and uh, I've got a pile of reel-to-reel -reel tapes out there so I'll get to see what's on it so at this point in time this is just like a triage introducing the project and um, I'll uh, start work on it and then I can uh, give some reports as I go I hope and we'll see how, how we get on so I uh, hope this will be of interest to some of you and you'd like to follow it through I know it's not a radio mainly I do radios but um, it's something different so uh, <laughs> uh, that's it for now so uh, I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, always um, welcome anyone who wants to like or make a comment or just suggest anything useful to me that that would be helpful and we'll uh, say bye for now and catch you on the next one